Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are playing Life is Strange, as you can see. Not only that, we're playing the last episode. That's right, the big epic finale. And I have been waiting for this for months. And hopefully, you're here to watch it alongside me. Sorry for my, you know, language. I mean, first of all, I'm Norwegian, so if you think I have an a terrible accent and I'm terribly sorry anyways let's just do it shall we continue previously on life is strange oh my god oh my god Whoa. what did you find Rachel in the dark room over and over that's it we can't trust oh my god oh my god Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> you know more about me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than I'm anyone. so excited. Like I'm all so teenagers. excited. <laughs> oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but... Your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look out! What the fuck? God fucking damn it. Oh, fucking bastard. Oh shit, it starts. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Ooh, calm down, calm down. <sighs> oh shit. Help! 
Victoria. Wake up. Wake up. God damn it, detach. Doesn't work that fucking detach. <coughs> Don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Okay, right foot. <laughs> good, good, good. <sighs> Finally, I'm free. Almost. don't remember anything that happened. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Fucking Jefferson. I promised I would never go back oh. in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. What the fuck is Psycho? Hold that stare there! Stay still! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. 
Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. Shit, 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 shit. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take oh, the shot. No, no. No. Wait, what? That didn't happen? I, I don't get it. Oh. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Okay, back to square one. Except so there's a new picture there. Whoa! I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this yeah, one. Do I have any other choice? I don't. I don't. I'm going to look there. What is that? Okay. I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Yeah? Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Okay, focus on the photo. This might work. Please work. Why? I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. 
It's good our esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Well, he did use Nathan, didn't he? Yeah, he, he did. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in what love with me. What the fuck? That's not my ego. Just look at our what? sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? Holy shit. I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart. What the fuck? Um, journal. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. It's Okay, rewind, good. Oh, what? Okay. Now. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Um. My diary. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so Thank much you. better. Thank <laughs> you. Get 
by Mr. Jefferson. You motherfucker. Come on now, how? Oh, yeah, there. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane <sighs> week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, <laughs> since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh. I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try no. again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. What's happening with the time? Let's, uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, Arctic. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. <laughs> I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Oh my god, I really just want to, oh, to capture him and kill him. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Nope. Found you. There. Oh. That is so beautiful. You have just by participating. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? No, no. What's going to happen to her? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. 
Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. <laughs> to be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo and... Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. What the hell is happening? I did everything right this time. God. Good work, David. Too good to be true, I feel like. I mean, is that it? I mean, something is going to happen. What about the storm? It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but... I'm so excited too. Hmm. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Scream. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man Hot in forever. Dog Man. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescott's. I made all the environmental chaos in Encardia Bay, such as doing... Double moons. What? Please 
fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, no. Oh, Christ! Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. What's happening? Oh no. This is getting too much. So cool. So cool. The game is expanding. I love this. She looks so mature. I like that. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from there I am, along with all the other winners. I should say, artists instead. Oh no no no! Whoa! Ah, wrong button. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, that was the wrong button. Um, no, um, I'm trying to find the one button so that I can run. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not Are you Max? That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs too. Hold on to it. His work is Not my style, so but the neon is a nice representation. Oh shit. Pretentious, Pretentious art. art. Let's talk to some people. Or you look at the food. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. Well, take what you can get, right? Much to look. I know it's kind of simple, but 
I'd find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who's teenage the girl. Artist? I think it's for some huh. contest. That's okay. cool. Uh, Seems pretty mature. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects to focus. Oh, very smart. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. <laughs> Good. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot <laughs> in his ass. Yeah, that's right. Um... I tried to tell you, no, I would seem suspicious if I didn't, because I don't know if I actually did. Um, it's, it's, it's not his fault, no, it's, it isn't. It's not your fault. You didn't know what really happened. I know, but that's not a good excuse for a principal. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Hmm. Strange weather, yeah. Now if we can just figure out what's going on with the weather, maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you okay. excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Ray, I will go. But I'll take some champagne. No, I can't. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. Like, I do not understand art. Oh, wait, what did you say? You, you, you don't understand art. Then I really do wonder why you're here. Women. Oh man, yeah, hello. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. <laughs> All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Yeah, two women kissing each other. Pretty hot. Yeah, it's pretty sexy. Yeah. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Oh, well, that's true. That's true. Um, excuse me, I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your oh, photograph. You. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. I'm a woman. Police officer. He or she doesn't look happy. Hmm. A journalist. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. <laughs> I barely said anything. <laughs> well... <laughs> 
Come on. <gasps> oh, my picture! Ah, ah. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Oh no. No. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. God. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, can you hear me? Oh. Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. What the hell can I do? There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Maybe, maybe do the picture thing. We'll look, get a picture and rewind time. Um, look at this brick. That's the only thing I can come up. Come to think. Definitely shot with a medium format uh, camera using a Leica 35mm. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. How much would you pay for that? Okay, um, the picture. Oh, God damn, it's going to take me. Ah, oh, let's do it. God damn it. She's going to lose so much. Uh, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, my head. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. Oh. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Number done. Oh, God. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Oh, she's going to lose so much. Oh, no. What? Oh, are you? No, she's getting caught again. Oh, hell. fucking hell. No. Oh, fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we, we, we will stop here for the first episode and, and I'll upload the next part as soon as I can. If you see this video in the future, then it's probably up already. But I hope you enjoyed this part. Just. God damn, watch the next part with me, reaction, what is going to happen, I don't know, 
links in the description and I'll see you later, I guess. Bye. Ah, uh, hype.